Today has certainly been a day of interesting, wonderful, and fabulous guests. With us now is Esther Vida, <laughs> and we're going to be talking about her show, which is about Sicily. Welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. Wow, what a great group of guests you've had here today. So much fun, right? It's, we, it's just a lot of laughs. Now, tell us about what is the name of your show? It's me, you, and Sicily? You, me, and Sicily. Sicily. That rhymes better. <laughs> And it's a program where you have a video series that, that airs on Banco TV, on C Italia TV. We also have a YouTube channel. We also have a, a website. And it's a series of episodes highlighting the best of best of Sicily, the people. It's best things. It's places, history, culture. We do festivals. We take uh, trips all over the island to highlight the best. Because, Donna, you know, in this country especially, there's been such a stereotype against Sicilians especially. And our goal is to show that Sicily is so much more. Sicily is a, pla is a place where that has been conquered by more rulers than many other countries, uh, many other lands. Donna, the Romans, the Greeks, the Normans, the Arabs, um, the... Uh, Austro-Hungarians, they have all been there and have left their mark in Sicily. And to me, you know, I just fell in love with its people. And it started out with seven episodes, our first season. And I said, nope, I'm not done. My partner, Alfred Zappala, um, has been going back and forth from Sicily to the United States for 20 years. He's written four books on Sicily. And it captured my heart. Oh, captured my heart. Fabulous. Now let's talk about your cultural background because you told me you said I'm not Sicilian, so 100% Hungarian, okay. born yes. in Hungary. Okay. And I've been a journalist for over 15 years. I've been a gypsy journalist. I, you know, worked at ABC stations in Vermont, in Michigan. I worked at the PBS in North Carolina, UNC TV, where I was a senior political correspondent. <laughs> Donna, right? And then life took over and changes happened and I met Alfred and um, and I was hooked. I was hooked. It was a new project. I started my own company. We started one uh, together and we're off and we're off and I always feel like in Sicily it's endless. The stories are endless. We'll go someplace and I'll learn something new and as a journalist I've always said I want to be a student for life. And in Sicily, I get to be a student of history, of culture, of people. That is really jaw-dropping. And I many times I say, wow. And wow. culinary, the food. Oh, Hello. bravo, right? Okay, so let's take a look at a compilation that you sent us, okay? Let's take a look. Ciao, I'm Esther Vida. I'm Alfred Zappala. Join us as we zigzag the spectacular, magical, an oh so mystical island of Sicily. I was thinking about you next to me. Uh oh. Maybe you're going to be a little bit of a ballade. For centuries, these waters were the site of bloody battles as one conqueror after another tried to take one of the most prized possessions in the Mediterranean, Siracusa. Located on the southeast coast of Sicily, at one point was one of the wealthiest, most powerful and influential cities of antiquity in Magna Grecia, or Greater Greece. How do you know the personality of a wine? By tasting, by following the grapes since when they are wine grapes to when they will become wine. I'm having it with the most beautiful woman in Sicily. <laughs> bon appetit. Cheers. And we're back. Wow. So, as you <laughs> saw there, wine, olive oil, um, festivals. We take you all over the island. We literally crisscross the island of Sicily and bring you the best of the best. Um, and a lot of these people have long been doing this for many, many years, uh, passed down from family to family, tradition, family, family number one, tradition number two. But in terms of culinary, you mentioned earlier, we, of course we do a couple of cooking lessons and because Sicily has been conquered by so many uh, superpowers, they all left their culinary mark. So 
it's a mixture. You know, you have the granita, which is the Arabs brought it there. They went up to Mount Etna and brought down uh, ice and put flavors in it. You have some of the magnificent sweets and pastries um, that were brought by the Spanish. So it's such a mixture. And I, I often tell people, you know, it's not Italian food. It's Sicilian cuisine. It's different. It's different. It is a little different. Now, geographically, um, where do you fly into? And then how do you get there? Oh, boy. Well, uh, usually we fly from, so I live in Boston part of the time, um, Rome, and then Catania. Okay. But you can also go to, Catania is on the uh, east coast where Mount Etna is. You can also um, land in Palermo, which is the capital of Sicily, on the west coast. Now from New York, you can go straight down to Palermo. Um, it's not Alitalia. I, I believe it's Arian, um, the flight that does it. But a lot of people coming. And I found Donna... Um, through doing You, Me, and Sicily that a lot of Americans have reached out to me and said, you know, my ancestors were from there, and I've always wanted to go there to reconnect with my roots in Sicily. And, and you do of, travel groups with that, right? Yes, we do. We do small uh, travel groups that um, really personalize because you know, we had an instant. Uh, someone called up Alfred and said, uh, we stumbled on your videos on one of your videos, and before we knew it, we watched all 20 of them, and we want you to take us here, 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 here. We'll take you to the market, to our local guy. We'll take you to our local restaurants, to the little village on Mount Etna that no tour bus will take you. So that's one of the small things that we do on the side, but it's, it's so much fun. Yeah. It's so much fun. You, me, and Sicily. You, me, and Sicily. I'm going. I, I'm getting. I'm going to come. We have it. room. We have room. We have plenty of room. Um, and if I may, just one other big thing that we're doing that I think is so important is the Sicilian Project. Yes, tell which, me. Tell us about that because you're raising money for a cause. Yes, um, Sicily, as the rest of Europe, is in an economic crisis. Um, and what happens in Sicily is the government, the Italian government, through its wisdom has decided to cut English as a second language as courses in schools. So instead of five hours of English as a second language, they're getting two or three. And as we know, that is the global language, and you have to know it. And there's a brain drain happening in Sicily. Young children are leaving because young teens and 20s are leaving because there are no jobs. Unemployment is over 50% among youth in Sicily, 50%. So we uh, run summer camps for children, free for Sicilians, uh, thanks to the help of many of our American friends. Uh, Alfred Zappala started this five years ago because he felt it was a moral requirement for him to give back to his ancestral home. He saw the need there. He saw that these children were leaving in droves. He saw that um, that the education of these kids, especially in English, was being compromised. And he said, you know, i got to do something about this. And we've trained, not trained, but we, we plant a seed, Donna, you know, to fall in love with the English language. Okay. Fall in love with it through songs, through, through games. Um, one of our teachers puts on plays with the kids, and it's fun. The parents love it. They come back year after year. Hundreds of kids have and gone And you can through reach it. that foundation through your website as well? Through that. Um, Great. The SicilianProject.com. And okay. you, me, and Sicily is EVACmediagroup.com. Fabulous. Thank you very much for Thank joining you, us. Thank you, Donna. Thank Yay. you. Thanks to your great crew, and you have been super hospitable. So oh, I you're welcome. You. Nice to meet you. And in ciao person. from Alfred. Yes. Oh, <laughs> and also, and also, uh, shout out to Donna McKenna who connected us. Oh, so yes. love her. Okay. Donna. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Live it up. You never know. We're going to take you on a global tour of the world.